California's four-year drought is apparently the hardest, perhaps, on the oldest residents there, the trees. Forestry officials say that many of the state's giant sequoias are showing signs of stress. Mind you, some have been there for 3,000 years. 3,000 years. So I'm thinking they've lived through a few droughts before. <laughs> <laughs> but scientists say this time is a little different because of the record low snowpack and some of the warmer temperatures ever on record. Yeah. Now, PJ has interesting facts about what it is they're able to tell just from the rings of these trees. Good yeah. morning. They tell so much. Good morning, Robin. You know, when you look at these tree rings, they're giving you so much more data than rain gauges and even thermometers from the 1800s that we have access to. So what they've done is we dive into the graphics here. Uh, they peel back the trees and they've analyzed some 1500 tree ring samples across this region of California. And with it, with very little margin of error, you can actually see where the burn scars are from previous forest fires and where the rings are very much spaced apart, wide apart there across that's a rainy season they're getting plenty of rainfall when they're stressed they get bunched up or very compacted that's what we're seeing wow. right now so the last time robin that they saw tree rings that were this compacted in the early 1500s when the first spanish settlers were settlers were coming into california that's so incredible. About 500 years of weather data just looking into uh, some of these tree rings so that's what's happening across california as far as what they're uh, studying in that region